This is my Harbor Freight 4x8 trailer. Uh, it's the 1720 pound capacity, super heavy duty. Um, for the decking, I use just a sheet, 7 16 sheet of plywood. Um, it's got the uh, Harbor Freight roll on bed liner on it. Um, worked out really well. Uh, it's been on for about two weeks now, and it seems like it's holding up very, very well. I added some other things to it too. Um, underneath, there's some metal railing so I could actually add this, um, it's like almost like shelves. Some D rings on it. Um, that way I can have extra fuel tanks or propane tanks or whatever I need. Um, I actually added these risk gas cans. They're uh, locked on there really well. Not gonna go anywhere. The lock there. I've got these uh, truck style or truck bed style um, hooks added on. They're actually being used as a bolt to bolt the uh, sheet of plywood down, multi-purpose. Uh, I've got my Banshee on there, pretty much ready to go right now. Um, I also added a toolbox off of Amazon. I'll pop that open in a second. And then I put a deck in the front. Um, and I actually replaced the tongue adapter here. This is actually, it looks exactly like the one that you get, but the one that I got was defective. And it's a, kind of a pain to get a new one. So I got this from uh, Lowe's for, I think it was like 25 bucks. Um, added this ion when I bought mine it did not come with these apparently they, they do the price went up a little bit and now you get one of these um, wheeled uh, tongue jacks uh, works pretty good um, but let me uh, I'll pop on that toolbox and we'll take a look inside okay took a few things off of there um, so it came with this toolbox I got on Amazon was like a hundred bucks it came with this latch this barrel lock is completely useless it does you can't put a key in there so I added this on, mostly because this will expand and the hinge inside will come loose. So this actually makes it for sure um, stable. So let me unlock it here. Okay, so I open this guy up. Inside, I spray painted it with uh, more truck liner, just to keep it from wearing out as fast. On the bottom down there, I just ran some uh, toolbox liner. Also, Take some of the sound. This thing was super loud on the inside. I had some little click lights, so if I'm out overlanding at night, I can be able to see inside. And that hinge right here, so it'll kind of click, but like I said, don't trust it, so I put this on here. What I like about this lock, too, is I got four of these locks, so all four of my locks in the trailer will be the same key. Make it easy for myself. Overall, this thing has pretty good pack capacity. Got my sand tires, I got water. Um, again, I got four of these sh like shelves that I put on here for extra storage. Um, got a few extra feet in the back here. I can put my mini bike, which is uh, over there. That can go on that. Those are actually my uh, ramps that I built. Kinda, they were cheap, I spent like $9, $10 building those. But um, you see right here, these, these guys will actually click into here and then uh, I can roll the Banshee off of there. Other than that, that's my trailer. Um, I said it's definitely, a, it's definitely a lightweight, it's called a super heavy duty, but I would I would say it's a light duty trailer, but depending on what you're doing, I, mean, I, I would comfortably go to 1,500 pounds with the capacity here, and I'd feel you know completely safe driving down the freeway. Um, the only thing I have left now to do is I have a spare tire over here that I need to install somewhere. So it's my last little step to do and this thing is completely ready for my purposes. But other than that, if you have any questions uh, on the trailer, you can always throw in the comments. I'd be happy to answer anything I can.